EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchature with your outlook for May 7th, 2019. For your Tuesday, very warm today. In fact, even warmer than we saw yesterday. And even though it got in some places got uh, well into the 70s, we'll be in the upper 70s, near 80 degrees today with a warm southwesterly breeze ahead of this cold front, which is off to our north. This is going to move off to the south and east and bring some areas a few scattered thunderstorms. Uh, mainly later this afternoon and early evening before they die off. Uh, but there will be an opportunity to get in some of that action across Northeast PA a little bit earlier in the afternoon, and we'll be monitoring that uh, closely today. So here's a look at noon on the high-res future simulated radar from the NAM. And as we move this forward in time, you can see this moving off to the south and east. And as it does so, it gets a little bit more organized. So this is now looking at 3 p.m. And uh, here's the Scranton-Wilkesbury Wilkes area. And it's just, just about to uh, hit that area uh, just after 3 p.m. And as we move further south and east, you see these line, the, a semi-congealed line trying to get going here. Uh, but there could be some gusty winds with this, and especially up in northeast PA, maybe as far south as the Lehigh Valley and parts of northern New Jersey, but I don't think it gets too far beyond that. Because after that, we're going to be dealing with uh, the heat of the day has passed, and we're going to be dealing with uh, the sun going down and things like that. So we'll kind of uh, disrupt it a little bit. But this is looking at 6 p.m. So uh, 6 p.m., it has already come through most of northeast PA. It's going through the southern Poconos here at this point and parts of northwest New Jersey. Again, some gusty winds with this. I don't think it's severe, but we could have some wind gusts that are, you know, 30, 40 miles per hour with it, certainly, uh, in some of the stronger and more robust cells along that semi-congealed line. And uh, that will continue off to the south and east, but you're already starting to see some weakening here by the time we get to 8 o'clock. And why is that? Sun's going down. You're losing the daytime heating that's going to try to sustain these a little bit. Uh, but you will have some scattered showers and thunderstorms continuing. The thunderstorms themselves will, but as far as... Uh, the, the heavy nature of them, or uh, heavier nature, I should say, that aspect of it will go away. Uh, this is now looking at 10 p.m. You can see across southeastern Pennsylvania and central New Jersey, you are getting showers and some embedded thunderstorms in that. Uh, and this continues off to the south and east in the overnight hours. is now 2 a.m. And then finally, by the time we get late in the overnight, it is completely gone. Wednesday, before I get to the global, go back to global models, we do have the opportunity uh, for just a stray shower. Uh, and there is a, a much cooler air mass that's going to be in place on uh, Wednesday compared to today. Easterly wind component coming back into the picture. Remember those? We had those a lot of, a lot of those last week that we're dealing with and uh, some cooler conditions. I don't think it's uh, it really, really uh, cool here on, on Wednesday. I think the cooler of the two days is going to be Thursday. And we could even have a few isolated showers here popping up uh, during the overnight. This is actually looking at Wednesday night, uh, but also continuing a little bit here into Thursday morning, some isolated showers popping up with that frontal battery in the vicinity and those cooler temperatures in place. So uh, we'll be watching that over the next couple of days. I don't think we're dealing with a lot of rain uh, or any concentrated rain until we get to the end of the week. I know we have the storms coming today in a few spots, not everywhere, uh, and it'll be late in the day in the evening. And then uh, Wednesday looks like it's a, a mostly dry day. Again, just a stray shower possibility, but most areas are going to stay dry. Probably mostly cloudy, though. And then once we get into Wednesday night and again on Thursday, the opportunity for a shower as this front moves back off to the north as a warm front. It will do so later in the day, though. So most of Thursday is going to stay on the cooler side. Once that moves to the north of the region overnight, it will start to warm up a little bit. So Friday is actually going to be a milder day, and you're going to have some scattered showers moving through along the cold front, which is the trailing cold front that is sitting way back here. So all of this activity, here's the low pressure driving it up here, all of this activity is all prefrontal. And that's gonna come through overnight on uh, Thursday night, we think, into Friday morning. Uh, and this is actually looking at early afternoon on Friday. So it might even go actually going in the afternoon, not just early, you know, in the morning. But then we have an opportunity for more uh, scattered showers, perhaps even a thunderstorm, or if we can get warm sector to get a little bit of clearing in here, might have a, might have a thunderstorm later in the day as well. And that goes right into Friday night, and then we get to Saturday. Saturday is the pick of the weekend. Uh, this is going to be a repeat of last weekend in the sense of timing and the fact that we're going to have rain. Uh, it looks like Saturday night, Sunday. The only difference is, as of right now, is it does not look like it's going to be as much rain as we dealt with in this past weekend. Similar idea. We got weak low pressure moving along a boundary to our south. So the boundary is going to be south of us on Saturday. We're going to have a northwesterly wind. Uh, temperatures will be uh, still mild, but, I mean, uh, you know, mid-60s or thereabout, mid-to-upper 60s for highs on Saturday. 
and you will have the sun, plenty of sun to deal with. So nicer the two days are going to be on Saturday. And then overnight, you get an increase in clouds on uh, Saturday night. And then rain coming in maybe after midnight and going right into Sunday and all of Sunday. But see, it's just showers. It's not heavy rain, so at least as of right now. Let's hope we're not dealing with that again. Okay, but it's the same similar idea that you're going to have rain on Sunday. Rain is an all-day Sunday thing. And this might even uh, linger into in, into Monday or Monday morning at least. Okay, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But uh, as of right now, it does look like the better the two days is going to be Saturday. Sunday looks like a washout, but not a deluge of rain and just uh, you know scattered showers throughout the entire day. Uh, definitely wet on Sunday compared to Saturday. Um, EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich, that is your outlook for May 7th, 2019. Have a great Tuesday.